Hi, I'm David Blattner, and most people know me for my InDesign tutorials, but today I want to show you an Illustrator tip. And to be fair, it's not technically an Illustrator tip, it's a tip for Illustrator users, but I think you're going to like it. Now, if you've ever seen a template like this, you know it's supposed to be a box, but it is not obvious at all what's the front or the back or side or what parts are visible, what parts are tucked inside others. There is expensive software out there that can help you visualize it, but if you're like me and you only need to do one of these every so often, well, let's just say I was super excited when I found this site, fantasticfold.com. Now, this was made by Adobe, but it's currently free because, well, it's kind of beta software and it might not work for everything you throw at it, but it worked great for me and it's really easy to use. Here's how it works. Back here in Illustrator, you can see that I have three pretty self-explanatory layers, creases, cuts, and then artwork. The artwork is on its own layer beneath the other two. Now I need to export this out as two files, an SVG and a ping. The SVG file should only include the creases and cuts, the folds and cuts. The ping should only include the artwork. For the sake of time, I've already done that. So now let's head back to Fantastic Fold. Here, all you need to do is import those files. There's the SVG. And here's the exterior art. Now I can't see the art yet, but I can see it as soon as I start folding. And I do that with this fold tool in the upper left corner. It's really easy. All you need to do is click and then drag one of these handles. It, or hold on the shift key while you drag and it restrains it to 90 degree or 45 degree angles. Here, let's do a few more. You get the idea. Now if you want to see it from a different angle, use this third tool, the orbital tool. And now you can simply click and drag and move it around. Okay, now for the sake of time, I'm going to jump to having this whole thing folded up. There we go, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and fold just a couple more of these. I'll drag that one in, and then this one, and then we're done. Isn't that amazing? Now let's move it around so we can see what it looks like in three-dimensional space. Terrific! There are other features in Fantastic Fold which I'm not even touching, like the ability to create animations based on keyframes. It's unbelievably great. So. Thank you, Adobe, for putting Fantastic Fold out there for us to play with. 